woman was on the ground slowly crawling towards the man opposite. Her eyes were full of emptiness and desire. The people received a message from a dead person at Mayan's funeral. They clicked on the message and saw that it was Sarah's hot video. The friends laughed at it. Sarah started to rage on the spot. <laughs> when Sarah was angry and wanted to find the person who posted the video, Yin Jin also came to the scene to get in trouble with Sarah because Yeon Jin's bullying video was posted on the internet by Sarah to get back at her. Now, Sarah thought that Yin Jin had posted the video in revenge. She went up and grabbed Yeon Jin's hair. I, who has been ridiculed by the two rich girls for many years, is now finally proud of herself. She went up and laughed at the fight between the two friends. The smart Sarah immediately realized, I was doing all this in private. So Sarah dragged her back. I also stopped pretending. She admitted that she was the one who sent the video. And now she was going to the church to show the video of Sarah on the big screen. Enraged, Sarah went completely crazy. She pulled a pencil out of her head and plunged it directly into Hai's neck. Luckily, the police arrived immediately and arrested Sarah on the spot. Her crazy act also made Mayan's funeral escalated into a more dramatic scene. Yin Jin revealed at the press conference that the dead Sohi was pregnant. This in turn sent Jun into a panic. He knew that Sohi's body was stored in Yo Jun's hospital. So he approached Yu Yun and asked him a strange question. But Yu Yun said he didn't know much about forensics. He only does cosmetic injections and treatments here. After Jun left, Yu Yun immediately dialed Dong Yun's number. It turns out that Dong Yun didn't want Jun to die in her revenge plan because she thought that Jun was just standing by and doing nothing. But the truth is that Jun got so he pregnant. Because Jun had registered at Yo Jun's hospital, he was able to see Jun's case. So they quickly made a plan for Jun. At this point, Hai's life was saved after resuscitation, but her vocal cord muscles were severely damaged. There was a good chance she would never speak again. <laughs> Jun, who had taken advantage of Hai, abandoned her without mercy at this point. The recording had been deleted by him. <laughs> a helpless romantic, Hai completely trusts Jun because of his kind gesture. She not only gave Jun all the chips in her hand, she also blacked out the rich man who wanted to marry her because of Jun's marriage proposal. And now she has been abandoned by Jun and has nothing to lose again. The good thing is that Dong Yun has not forgotten her. She provided Hai with a chance for revenge. Dong Yun is also grateful that she helped Sarah to fall into the net for attempted murder. <laughs> Dong Yun told Hai Jin has glaucoma. That's why Jun takes eye drops to lower her eye pressure. Once a day, then he gave her a bottle of special drops. Dong Yun said that if Jun put these drops in his eyes, he would never be able to see the beautiful world again. Ah, who hated it so much, finally took it off and stopped obsessing over men's love. She came to Jun's house to pick up her luggage. She then secretly injected the drops given by Dong Yun into Jun's usual eye drops. <laughs> Jun drove out that night. He took two more drops of the eye drops and suddenly his vision was blurred. He had to stop the car because of a strong staining pain. At that very moment, <sighs> Jun was already bleeding after the accident. He was taken up to the roof of the building by a man in a suit. Then he was pushed into a concrete pool and never saw the world again. Does this red tie look familiar to you? Who was wearing this red tie? <laughs> The glory finale is here. Dun Yun finally dealt Yin Jin the ultimate blow. She made Yin Jin experience the feeling of being betrayed by his mother firsthand. Previously, Dun Yun set up a trap for Yong Jin's mom to kill Anna's husband. She only wanted Yong Jin's mother to give up Yong Jin's name tag. Then she could hide the truth that Yong Jin's mom killed someone else. And the case would end in manslaughter. Soon after, 
Yoonjin's mom found Dong Yoon with the name tag. Dong Yoon wasn't surprised by the result. She also called the audience who couldn't be absent in advance. <laughs> Dong Yoon put the name tag on Yoonjin's chest and told her it was time to return it to its rightful owner. But in fact, this name tag is not evidence that Yinjin killed Sohee. Dong Yoon set this up just to make Yinjin feel betrayed. Yinjin is now looking at the name tag on her chest. She finally felt the despair of being betrayed by her loved ones. She walked like a corpse to her mother. How could you do such a thing to your own daughter? Yin Jin, who had been abandoned and betrayed by her relatives, was already in a state of despair. She suddenly received a video on her phone. The bottle of wine that killed my aunt was put back in its original place. Yin Jin immediately ran back to the crime scene to check it out, but she collided with the police who were taking evidence. The police received an anonymous tip. Yin Jin also ran to the crime scene. She was finally handcuffed, but she would never have imagined. The key evidence that finally brought her to justice was the fact that Mai An had her skin tissue under her fingernails. It was Yu Yun who thoughtfully put it back for her. The lighter that was left at the scene of the Soe case also tested for her DNA. This evidence finally sent Yin Jin to prison. A few days later, Dong Yun came to visit Yin Jin. She didn't come to laugh at Yin Jin. Rather, she wanted to plunge her into the depths of hell. It turns out that after Yin Jin knocked Mai An out and ran away, Mai An wasn't completely dead. The one who made him lose his breath was Ren, who lived in the store. It was also Ren who took the bottle and gave it to Dong Yun. Of course, Yin Jin will never know the truth. Dong Yun wants her to spend the rest of her life in fear and speculation. Yin Jin has finally started her life in prison. One of her cellmates was a face she knew very well. She wanted to call out to her mother, but her mother wouldn't look back or talk to her anymore. Yin Jin is a former famous weather anchor. When her cellmates asked her, what's the weather tomorrow? She would immediately stand up, tie the hem of her blouse, and start announcing the weather in a dignified manner. Her appearance reminds us of the teacher, who was imprisoned a few years ago. Dong Yoon ended her 18-year-long revenge. She burned the photos of the bully one after another, and said goodbye to the past once and for all. She came to visit Soe's grave. <laughs> <laughs> this line from the glory almost brought tears to everyone's eyes. When Dong Yoon was ready to leave this world 18 years ago, she noticed that a figure was walking towards the river next to her. Dong Yoon's first reaction was to save her. She desperately pulled her back to the shore. She found out that the other person was an old grandmother. She had met not long ago when she was working part-time. The grandmother had just lost her only son. She had to keep washing clothes to numb herself. But in the end, it was hard for her to live here alone. However, when Dong Yoon rescued her, Grandma notices that Dong Yoon is barefoot. She was worried if Dong Yoon would be cold. She was also concerned about why she was wearing a sweater. Because sweaters get heavy when they get wet. The two of them seemed to be the light that saved each other in this endless dark night. So they agreed to spend this cold winter together and try to wait for the arrival of warm spring. From then on, Grandma planted flowers in the yard. These flowers bloomed every time spring came. Eighteen years passed, she finally waited for the one who came to see the flowers bloom. Grandma recognized Dong Yoon the first time. She saw her again. And when Dong Yoon's mother came to her, it was also Grandma who drove her away despite all the odds. 
당신 편 들어주는 사람도 있어야지. 빗줄 어렵지. 오죽하면 천륜이라고 할까. 혼자서 온갖 짐을 다 지진 말아요. 하늘도 가끔 실수를 하실 테니까. Although Dong Yoon didn't recognize who her grandmother was, but grandma was always behind her until the revenge plan was completely finished. It was only on that day that Dong Yoon suddenly remembered the memory that had been sealed away. It was only then that she suddenly realized there was a kind-hearted adult in her life. She finally understood what grandma meant when she said she would leave this world in the spring. What she meant was that both people and flowers should bloom in the spring. Dong Yoon, who had overcome the past, Finally, in the 37th year of her life, she celebrates her 19th spring. The Glory is a revenge drama from a female perspective. She does not use a fixed pattern to portray every female figure. Compassionate and strong, crazy and vicious, optimistic and brave. Yo Jung's mother once said the main theme of the drama in one sentence. And the glory reveals that people have to tear down this pretense. An eye for an eye and making the abuser pay.